What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. Good Saturday afternoon. It is April 2nd, 2022. About 12.06 p.m. California time. Got the Earthmaster here on this end. Just doing an update video here on this beautiful weekend. It's supposed to be about 82 degrees here in Northern California. and Looks, looks like we're going to hit the 90s next week. And uh, wow, <laughs> too early in the year and the season for 90s. I am not liking it. Um, I'll take the 70s and 80s. No 90s, please. 2.1 latest earthquake out here in the Pacific Ocean, right around the big island of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and check out the latest data here. Over the map from the USGS here, showing some movement out throughout the Northern California area and the West Coast. Pacific Northwest is still, I'm not for sure why, but they're not showing any activity whatsoever. So it's hard to believe. Uh, in that aspect of no movement at all <laughs> throughout the Washington and Oregon area. Northern California, some movement up here in the, uh, well, Willow Creek area, 3.6. This one coming in at 1031 UTC time, which was uh, eh, earlier this morning, way earlier. It is a pretty deep earthquake uh, at 33.6 kilometers. We can go back here pretty certain I was going to switch this over to miles so we'll go ahead and do that 20 miles so that's pretty deep uh, in terms of movement here in Northern California and that has to do with the Cascadia subduction zone a lot of tremor activity taking place here uh, creating these uh, this earthquake movement up here and a lot of or down here I should say up here in the Washington we're still seeing quite a bit of tremor here I want to show you guys the tremor map real quick so you guys can kind of see what I'm chatting about here uh, there's the tremor from yesterday up around the Seattle, Vancouver Island ranges quite a bit into Northern California, Southern Oregon area. Of course, a lot of uh, times we see the slow slip event movement and we see upstream, tr uh, upstream earthquake activity, but also applying quite a bit of pressure here along the Cascadia subduction zone. So we're seeing movement here in Northern Cal uh, and I'm certain that we're seeing activity up here uh, in the Pacific Northwest as well, but uh, nothing being reported. But uh, that's pretty deep earthquake, no doubt, 20, or 20 miles. Uh, below the surface there, some further deep activity outside of the Redding area as well. Um, let's see, other than that, there's <clears throat> basic movement down here into the Cobb Mountain region, right around the Calpine Hydrothermal Operations. 25 earthquakes to report in that region today. Uh, Central California, Bay Area looks pretty quiet. A little query blast outside of Concord, it looks like. And... Um, some further movement up and down the eastern part of the Sierra Nevada. No major swarming to report in the California range at the moment or in the California area. The swarming here is from uh, late last night. We haven't seen any further activity kick up here in the Salton Sea region. Yesterday we did have a little migration of swarming from the Imperial Fault up to the Brawley Seismic Zone, but it has since stopped completely. Uh, at the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. Texas, a little bit of movement throughout the Midland area and also the Guadalupe Peak outside of Pecos, Texas. A couple earthquakes, a bunch of twos. Two's a magic number across the board there in that region of the states. And uh, some movement outside of the El Reno area, north of El Reno. I'm kind of curious to see what they got going on out here in the satellite view. Uh, let's see what we got. El Reno sits down here to the south. Of course, it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like some, uh, looks like some pumping operations out there. These, these squares that you see scattered out and about the land, uh, and these depths here of one to three miles look consistent with, uh, uh, the activities there and the injection wells and whatnot. So definitely, a gas oil filled earthquake type of day eastern part of the country looks pretty quiet not a whole lot being reported throughout the region puerto rico uh, still seeing some movement down here around the southwestern edge but uh, no major swarming to report around the uh, caribbean area this earthquake here was from last night off the coast of nicaragua a 4.5 into the middle america trench there pretty deep at 30 miles inland uh, south america this area is man i don't know it's still been awfully quiet here in terms of earthquake activity 4.1 uh, 
uh, 15 miles into the subduction zone there in the Chile area along the Peru Chile Trench. And uh, not a whole lot going on throughout the Atlantic Ocean areas. Things look pretty quiet in this area. We did have this earthquake kick up here late last night in the Tanzania area. 4.3 into the uh, area of the African continent over there. Also, New Caledonia seeing a little swarm of movement once again following last week's large earthquakes in the region. Looking at some mid fives. Of course, there's always that likelihood of seeing possibly another six or low, low grade seven in this area. New Zealand looks pretty quiet here on the USGS charts. A little bit of activity working its way up through the Philippines. A lot of activity, aside from this movement down here, we're, we're starting to see a lot of adjustment up here in the northwestern part of the Pacific Plate and areas just to the west here along the Philippine Plate. Still waiting for some action up here north of the uh, Japan Trench into the Kurokamachaka Trench. This is about the only area that hasn't been hit by a sizable quake. Of course, we had that seven-pointer um, kick up here off the coast of Japan, the 7.3, a couple weeks ago. Uh, that was kind of, I can't say really overdue, but it's been about a year or so since we've seen that type of movement. So accumulated stress and slip rate was pretty high, is still pretty high in this area. And it uh, uh, seems like we see a 7 pointer at least once a year in this region. Uh, but the Kurokamachaka Trench, pretty quiet uh, for now. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ch -ch -ch Checking out the Yellowstone seismographs. Not a whole lot to report. Some movement out here around the borehole area. Seen some very, very tiny, small microquakes out there showing up on the graphs today. Nothing significant. No major, uh, no major earthquake swarming. A couple spikes over here around the Maple Creek area as well. But uh, as far as general seismic activity, things look uh, like a typical day up there in Wyoming. Uh, let's see what else we got into the Canada region we go up north not a whole lot going on I don't see any red circles the latest quake up here in the uh, Yukon uh, region that's a 1.4 looks like near Haines Junction but uh, most of this activity we're seeing right here is very uh, What's well, from a couple days ago here, more than a few days ago actually. Nothing in the red circles out there indicating uh, recent activity today, so things kind of mellow out throughout the uh, Canada region currently. Uh, let me go back over here. I forgot to check Hawaii real quick. See what we got going on out out here in the Big Island. Seeing a couple earthquakes here in the mid two range. I know we got some activity there below that. Stretching off, uh, stretching off across the southern part of the Big Island, it looks like we're starting to see a little swarm uh, and up around the Mauna Loa area. No major adjustments or uh, notifications on the volcanoes here on the Big Island. Things still currently um, well, stable for uh, as they have been for the uh, past few months. Of course, Kilauea is still seeing a little bit of activity kick up there, but Mauna Loa, things, um, like I mentioned, stable currently. Uh, that could change though, right? Things can definitely change in the blink of an eye, no doubt. Solarham.com.net website, another M flare kicked off overnight. A long duration M flare, it looks like, into the, uh, uh, what is it, the M4.3 range, it looks like right here. Kicked up a little radiation storm, it looks like a CME, all that pretty much directly uh, away from us. Still from that uh, sunspot uh, 2975. Proton level streaming past Earth are now on the rise, and a minor S1 radiation storm is now in progress. A large coronal mass ejection is visible in the latest imagery. It will be interesting to see if the edge of this plasma could. Uh, plasma cloud will be Earth directed. I highly doubt it, though. We'll see. But uh, there's that radiation storm kicking up from the uh, from the activity that we seen uh, earlier this morning. That sunspot just does not want to go away. It's pretty crazy. Very active indeed. Uh, looking at, uh, wow, these guys actually, man, 25% chance of an X-flare, looks like. 
Still 99% chance sea flare and flare at 65% chance. There's some sunspot uh, development. Right here, 2981, 2978, and a couple around the bend. There's 2975 up here, the culprit kind of facing away from the uh, the earth. But, uh, you know, we'll see in the coming days if that cloud hits us. And um, see if these want to pop off anything in the near future. Looking at the dynamics here, it might have a little mixing in of the uh, magnetic fields. But... Uh, Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the sun does. It's get, definitely getting active as we ramp up towards the solar maximum here in a couple years. Uh, expect this to be a pretty, uh, pretty eventful year in terms of solar weather activity. So, and of course, we're at our height of our electronic season, right? Uh, a lot of electronics we depend on GPS systems. Everything's all dependent on electronics and GPS. So, not a good time to. <laughs> kick into solar maximum along with all this uh, technology advancement here on this earth all right folks I'm gonna jump off here uh, enjoy the day gonna do some gardening I think get a little bit done got a bunch of a uh, bunch of stuff growing out in the garden Missy Mimi's planted a whole bunch of strawberries and uh, spinach uh, pumpkins watermelon you name it uh, it's out there and uh, loving this warm weather let me tell you all right guys have a good day stay safe live stream is up and running solid for now <laughs> we'll see if it remains that way have a good day folks peace out we'll see you later tonight with the update